already do know. The government says it will now be able to track where coronavirus patients are at any material moment in real time. This, it says, will be possible with a new app, the call, the GH COVID-19 tracker. It was launched late Monday. And the vice president, Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia, said the government's approach to tackling the pandemic will be driven by science and technology, which he says informed the launch of the app. In Ghana, on dealing with COVID-19, it's been basically on the three T's. You are tracing, you are testing, and you are treating. So tracing, testing, and treatment are the essential pillars for our fight against the coronavirus. Ghana is doing what even the most advanced countries such as the US and the UK are not doing, and in fact many other African countries as well. So uh, even though we're a small developing country, uh, in this particular area of contact tracing to deal with the coronavirus epidemic, we are in ahead of countries such as the US and the United Kingdom on this. Secondly, we, have pursued, we are pursuing a strategy of aggressive testing. Uh, and in terms of testing for the coronavirus per capita, Ghana is on the basis of the available data we have, Ghana is in the top 20 of countries in the world. And on the basis of, of this data too, in Africa, for example, uh, we are number one per capita in terms of testing. In terms of numbers of tests, South Africa leads, we are second, but in terms of testing per capita, that is per our population, we will be leading, we are leading the continent. In Ghana, as at 11th April, we've tested 37,954 people. If you look at Africa as a whole, uh, the data seems to show that total tests on the continent are under 100,000 people. In Ghana, we've tested 37,954 as at 11th of April. 